In this video, we're gonna be practicing derivatives that involve the sine inverse of x. So let's just jump right on in. Okay, so my first example, I have y equals 3x squared plus the sine inverse of x. Easy enough. Okay, so um, I know I take the derivative of 3x squared. This is addition, so I would just take the derivative of this piece and this piece, and this is my new fact. So here, I'm gonna write y prime because I'm taking a derivative. 6x plus, and then here's my new fact. Da da! That's it. Do not make a common denominator. Don't waste time. This looks fantastic. Okay? Pretty fast. All right, does it get harder? Of course it does. Okay? Probably um, the more difficult thing is if we had something that was um, maybe product rule. right? y equals 3x squared times sine inverse of x. Okay, if this is what I have, then if I have product rule, I'm going to do u equals 3x squared. u prime is 6x. v is sine inverse of x. And then v prime would be my new fact. Okay, cross multiply. Now, Interesting thing, when I go to cross multiply this 3x squared and this 1 over root, I'm just going to squish them together, okay? So what that will look like is I'll have a y prime equals 3x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared plus, okay, so that's me squishing this guy, and now this one will be 6x times sine inverse of x. If you find yourself trying to rewrite this as cosecant, then please feel free and write arc sine instead of sine inverse. Write arc sine. That's totally fine. Okay. All right. So this is my answer. It's a big mess. Woohoo. Okay. I'm now going to practice a couple with chain rule. All right. Here's an example of chain rule. Um, so how I know it's chain rule is that it's sine inverse parentheses x squared. So this is now inside the sine inverse. Okay. So the derivative of sine inverse is 1 over 1 minus x squared. Okay. Right? That's what usually happens. So I write 1 over square root of 1 minus and then I put my x squared. That's my inside. So I'm going to take this inside, which is x squared, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Now, by chain rule, I have to multiply by the derivative of x squared, which is 2x. Okay. Now, I'm just going to clean it up just a little bit. So I'm just going to squish it together. So there'll be a 2x on top. And this will be a square root of 1 minus x squared squared is x to the fourth. So there is my derivative of sine inverse of x squared. All right, let's practice another one. What if I had instead e to the x on the inside? Okay, so this is going to be my u in the formula that I had in my notes and in a previous video. So here I'm going to go f prime of x equals 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared. Okay, u is e to the x. And then I'm going to multiply by chain rule by the derivative of e to the x, which is e to the x. Okay, let's squish that answer together. I get an e to the x on top. And on the bottom, I get the square root of 1 minus, and here you want to multiply exponents. So x times 2 is 2x. Two and there we have it. So that's the derivative of sine inverse of e to the x. And over here is the derivative of sine inverse of x squared. So make sure you are careful. You know your derivatives of sine inverse and how to use it with chain rule. 